the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. All right, pre-workout powwow during my backward walk session before my leg day. Because per usual, I haven't given myself enough time to uh, get the workout in the way I want to. Because I got kids. No, today was mostly because I got uh, all this technology I'm learning on the fly. As I've mentioned in previous videos, all of this is uh, very out of my comfort zone. Learning how to, you know, edit, slap stuff together and use cameras and tripods and just all this techie uploading stuff uh, is difficult for me. So as soon as that gets a little more streamlined, I'm going to be able to be a lot more thoughtful about what I'm uh, posting beyond just workouts, um, things that could be helpful and uh, for you. So let me know below, comment if you have anything for me. All right. I figured calf raises aren't, aren't all that fun to watch from a viewer's perspective. So why do you need to see my calves doing all the talking when my mouth can do it? You can just look at my mouth. Uh, but you got to make sure you're coming up and down with me. Okay. You know, one of the reasons I, I can tell I'm getting old is because I'm starting to work out to music that is not at all like a pump up song or a real hard beat or something that just gets your blood boiling. It could be some real laid back. It could be something that gets you going, but most of the time it's like just, you know, some sort of uh, Americana artist or somebody just plucking on a guitar someone where I get the feeling like this is really them, you know, where like this is truly an artist and this isn't somebody pushing a label's agenda or somebody that's joined country music just because it's the only genre that's really hitting in that realm because rock is dead and somebody just wants to make it, you know, it's not the influence of all these big wigs or studio people or clout or popularity it's somebody that's like just pouring his soul through a guitar you know and through his lungs that really gets me going uh i was just listening to this guy wyatt flores i feel like he's doing that and he's super young too and he almost has a sound like it makes me think of uh mr jones uh that song mr jones and me uh, he's got like a vibe to him that's almost in that realm, but within a country-ish atmosphere. But you can just tell it's it's his own in a way. Uh, I really like Charlie Crockett for some of those reasons. You know, I just like the idea of somebody that had no influences and this this is what they came up with. You know, um, as an actor, I think maybe that's I I just I really resonate with certain musicians in that way. Uh, cause it takes a lot of guts to, to bet on yourself in that way, especially when you're getting, you've got this talent and you're getting a lot of pressure. Likely these guys are, um, to mold it in a certain way. And I'm sure everybody's influenced to some degree cause they, you know, they listen to music growing up. They have different styles and, and things like even somebody as extremely unique who came out um just popping that back in the day dave matthews band in the 90s such a different sound and part of that is because he grew up he partially grew up in like memphis or somewhere in the south and then in south africa as well he was all over the place and so he had all these influences but then he took that and made it his own in a way i don't know anything about music i can't play guitar I've always wanted to, but I uh, I just want to be able to play, but not have to earn learning how to do it, because that'd be awesome. Uh, but I'm good at other things, so let's let's stick to those. All right, slap another cookie on here. Yeah, <clears throat> here we go. Slap. Uh. Who else was on this playlist? There was a, you know who was on there was that guy from Yellowstone, Luke Grimes. I don't even know how to think about that. Um, what's the name of that song? 
but he's he's actually good you know uh ain't dead yet it has a riff that sounds just like a nirvana song almost uh i don't know how any, anybody would listen to it and not think that but i don't know threw a little nostalgia in there for me uh really enjoyable <sighs> Hmm. Ugh. 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 Come on. Yeah, speaking of Charlie Crockett, I know I mentioned him. Uh, I've I've had a, a huge infatuation with learning about him because he's, I guess, uh, kin folk to Davy Crockett. He's in the bloodlines there, so that's pretty cool. And uh, his music feels like so nostalgic, but to a time that I obviously never grew up in. But it feels like an old Western. It feels like this is what country music used to be. I feel like I'm getting time warped to, you know, the 50s or the 60s or something. But he's just a heck of a talent. So much soul. And uh, the song he has, Odessa. I haven't had a song move me like that so much since, like, Let It Be. And I don't know why, I honestly had no idea why it moved me so much. I was going through a tougher time in that period, but it hit, I heard it and uh, I, I hit me so hard. And it doesn't even make sense why it would necessarily based on the lyrics. I don't even really understand the lyrics. I just felt so much while listening to it. I was starting just streams. And it's me and uh, Bo, my son, one of our favorite songs. We listen to it all the time. And... Uh, yeah, I don't even know why I brought that up. It's just cool guy, Charlie Crockett. Dude, huge fan, Charlie Crockett. You keep doing you, dog. Just so you know, I'm not fibbing you. Out here getting it. Stay on there, buddy. Give a nice pause, bottom stretch position. Ah! Sometimes too, like today, I gotta reset. I'm sliding down this board today. I'm feeling like a little harder for me to feel that activation and burn in my gastroc, that high calf muscle. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll come up. And I'll act as if I'm pulling it down really slowly by flexing my anterior tibs. And that, that did it. So I'll pause here for a little bit. Get some partials. All right, this is how I jimmy rig a seated calf raise through my rep fitness rack and their ISO lever arms. Uh, I have them raised or lowered all the way down and I sit on the end of a bench I got a slant board below me, a pad on my lap, and I rest the metal on the pad, and then simply up and down from there. And then I play with it as I go to find kind of the best tension point. Yeah, that's good. I remember I would do these, yeah, single leg at a time. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, this is seated calf raise is better for the soleus. The soleus is the muscle below the gastroc, which is that high, kind of balled up muscle at the top of your calves. The soleus is very necessary for performance, but not as cool aesthetically. It's kind of your buddy that's propping you up, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
I gotta move my knee forward a little more. I feel like I wasn't getting enough tension on the way down in the muscle. Here we go. <clears throat> Going a little higher rep and not pausing as long on the bottom uh, on this one compared to last week. I wasn't obliterated sore last week, which usually, if I haven't done these in a while, I am. Might have been because I was going five reps. <clears throat> so, just adjust. <clears throat> Ah, because of my knee injuries and that right leg, that left one just feels light and bouncy. I go to do the right leg and it feels like lead, but it's good because I'm, I'm forcing myself to do the same amount of reps where I'm clearly stopping short on the left leg, but I'll kind of catch up slowly, but surely get back to equilibrium stronger I can get this leg, especially the muscles above and below the knee, the more the muscles can support the joint on impact when my foot strikes, as opposed to my knee taking the impact on my knee, bone on bone, crunch, crunch. Ooh. It's amazing what the human body can do. You know, I knew a lot of guys that were playing on bone on bone knees, man. Bone spurs, one looks like an alien knee and one looks normal. I'm just pushing through, find a way. In the floor. Ooh. Ah. Eh. Ooh. Ah. Eh. Ah. I like to hit the bag as my form of cardio. I don't like doing a, set, a steady state cardio um, for obvious reasons. It's super boring. Um, plus, I'd rather get my blood going, get the benefits of the heart health while I'm developing a skill, learning to use my hands a little better. Stop. 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 Oh. Left, left, left. I'm already gassed. Only been a few minutes. Um, one thing I'm noticing, like I was mentioning earlier, I think that my back leg, when it's behind me, as in boxing, it needs to be able to bend, get a slip, and duck, and do all that. Is when it's got whatever reason, when it's behind me and I bend it, sharp pain. So it makes me have to be like a stiff back-legged bandit, like I'm a pirate on a peg leg in the back. But again, as I build that strength above and below the joint, that starts to go away, becomes a lot more functional, 
You have a lot more power from the ground up. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. 